Sundays I usually spend the day like meal prepping and relaxing but I'm switching it up and I am going to be doing some reorganization in my office to kind of make it a little bit more minimal but functional at the same time. One of the things that has been a big struggle in my office is I just keep feeling like I don't have enough space so I've been looking at things that are a little bit slimmer I've been looking at ways to condense especially my desk you'll see from looking at my office it's a lot of stuff on my desk it looks very cluttered I have a keyboard for my work computer that's like so big my desk doesn't give me enough space from the wall to me when i'm sitting down and some things need to change there are some things i couldn't wait on that i've already come in and i've already added them to my office so the first thing is a smaller keyboard to go with my work computer it's a lot sleeker it takes up way less space than my other one and i am loving it so far and then my desk i just I was so excited about this desk, I had to go ahead and put it together. I've already been using it for about a week now. It's this really nice sleek looking maple desk and it is a standing desk as well. Now there was one thing that I was waiting on before I completed reorganizing my desk which is this. I got an iMac computer. I got it in blue. I cannot begin to tell you how excited I am about this. It's going to make working on everything for my business so much easier because what I was working with was not powerful enough. There are also a few things that I did this morning. Like I don't know why, but I was up at the crack of dawn. I was up before fu I was up before six. So I went in and organized my bookcase it was looking a hot mess the books were not as organized i originally had them organized by color but it just didn't look right this bin had a ton of stuff sticking out it's still stuff sticking out now but it was way worse and then this second row just had a lot of stuff that i didn't need a lot of trash so i cleaned that up a little bit and then down below is kind of like an overflow section. So believe it or not, this is like a ton of CDs, like music CDs, and I just don't know what to do with them. And then I have a few desk pads and my paper like screen protectors just doesn't fit with the regular book, so I had to put it there. And this stand, which I think I'm gonna end up connecting to my desk, this is a way to take more videos for like my digital planning videos. I also went in and cleaned this closet out. Trust me, this closet looked way worse than what it looks like now I mean I had stuff like packed up to here I posted it on my Instagram stories the before so that you can see it make sure you follow me on Instagram because some of the things I don't put in my video I'll put on Instagram so I'm actually going to start off by clearing my entire desk off because it's so much easier to work with a clean slate and then I'm probably going to move to unboxing my iMac second because the box itself is so big that I think I'm going to need my whole desk just to open it up and then we'll see what happens from there she's putting all our, our our cars down on the table knowing there's no way that she'll be able to win this one but she's somebody else and let me tell you a quick story time about this computer I normally go to the Apple store to pick up all of my Apple devices. I just feel like it's better that way, but I decided to actually order this online and get it delivered. Part of the reason why is because I had to upgrade a lot of things such as the memory as well as the space on it. But I was a little nervous about getting it delivered since it's holiday season, people are more, you know, people were stealing packages a little bit more. So I wanted to keep a close eye out on it until it got here. I was worried that I wasn't going to be home when it was delivered so I actually called the company that was delivering it and they told me that it was standard procedure to get a signature for this package as well as call me when they're on their way. But they ended up not doing any of that so thank goodness I watched closely. They just left the package out by my garage so yeah. If you're getting stuff delivered during this time of year, definitely keep a close eye out because I think the delivery drivers are so swamped, they just wanted to get it done, so they may not be following their normal procedures. So I purchased these two clear monitor stands off of Amazon, of course, you know, that's my go-to for all things. Um, and I really like them. They are a pretty good quality. The only thing I didn't like is that their logo is on there. So I put the logo towards the back when it was on my desk. And by the way, the legs are also adjustable, which is nice. Make 
One of the things I was worried about was whether or not my desk would be able to fit two computers. So you'll see that I struggle quite a bit with trying to figure out how to arrange the monitors on my desk. And I had a really hard time figuring out which monitor should be on the left versus the right. And you'll see later on in the video, I ended up switching it so that my iMac was on the right and my work computer was on the left. Mainly because my work monitor needed to be close to where my laptop was and then my laptop needed to be close to a wall socket to be able to plug it in. So it just made it easier this way. I purchased this vertical laptop stand off of Amazon. Of course, this should be no surprise. It is adjustable to fit the different laptops that you have. It holds two different laptops and I mainly purchased this to kind of condense an area on my desk because I used to keep my work computer flat. And I was hoping that it would allow my work computer to breathe a little bit more because it tends to overheat. So I'm not even going to lie, at this point I was getting a little overwhelmed with how to organize things on my desk. So I decided to just take all of my accessories and put it on the desk and then just keep moving them around until it felt right. And now to the part that I was most excited about, which is turning on my computer for the first time. So I'm finally finished. This took way longer than I would have thought, but I had a really hard time figuring out how to organize the monitors on my desk so that it wasn't taking up the entire desk itself. So let me show you what I did. So on the left side here, this is my work computer, and this is the keyboard that I was talking about. It's a lot sleeker, and it's, it's a little bit bigger than the Apple one, but the keyboard I had before was literally twice as big as this, so this is a big improvement. I put both of the computers on these clear stands. So it would raise them a little bit, but also give me some storage underneath if needed. Behind here is my work computer. I put it in a stand so that it would be sitting vertically. I was hoping that it would keep the computer cool, but I don't know if you can hear it. The fan is finally starting to go down, but I had to actually unplug the power cord because when the power cord is plugged up, it just runs hot. This is just a bad computer in general. It's my work computer. I'm not a Dell fan. It just, I don't know how else to fix it. It is what it is. All right, so moving over here, I can't wait to use this. This is going to make creating content and creating digital planning products so much easier. Right now, I have this laptop slid under here, and this is what I was saying is provide some extra storage space because I needed to allow room for my work computer to cool down back there. And honestly, I think what's gonna end up happening is this is probably gonna end up sitting under here. That's probably gonna be its permanent space. I had a hard time fitting the accessories back onto the desk, but as you can see, I have my pencil and marker holder here, and then I had my little calendar thing here, which I really wanted to keep on the desk. I had another thing, this right here, this envelope holder and sticky note holder that I had to move off of my desk because there was no way it was going to fit. It used to fit back here, but it just, it looked a little cluttered. I don't know, maybe I'll move it back. I just have a candle back here for decoration. Um, it's not really much room to burn it. And then I have this little plant back here, as you can see, and then my cup holder for when I have, you know, my cups of coffee in the morning. And then I have a stand here, and I've had this stand for quite some time that holds my iPad when I'm sitting at my desk. And then my pencil. I. I'm tempted to get one of those holders where the pencil stands up like this. That I think that would be really cute. And then, I can't remember if I pointed this out or not, my cell phone holder. Um, this moves around my desk. You know, it doesn't stay in one place. I just set it there for now. This lamp is pretty big, as you can see, sitting beside the computer. I thought about taking this lamp and putting it on my bookcase, but 
I ended up figuring out a way to squeeze it on there. So that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button down below. It really helps me out in the algorithm. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any more videos. She's putting all, all of her cars down on the table Knowing there's no way that she'll be able